Welcome back everybody to the fragrance fraternity. Do you notice anything different? Do you hear anything different? Do you? Sounds pretty good, right? Right? Thought so. Guys, do me a favor. I got 15 cheap summer fragrances. I'm going to bring you some bangers here in a second. All I ask is for you to just do one thing. Boop. That easy. One little thing. Don't ask for much. Appreciate it. Let's jump into it. Here we go. First one is going to be L1212 Blanc. This is a really nice white floral fragrance for men. can be found at a reasonable price. Really appealing, really unique scent profile compared to what's out there. It's not your typical summer freshy. It's not your typical everyday blue fragrance. This is going to be a little bit of a unique scent profile. And if you've got a decent sized collection, uniqueness is one thing that you might value. I know it is for me. White florals and also a... Fresh fabric softener kind of a smell. It smells like you just did a load of laundry and you just pulled your shirt out of the dryer and you had a nice dryer sheet in there and it's that initial blast of that dryer sheet freshness that you're getting with L1212 Blanc. Really love this one. You may love it too. It is a little bit of a, I don't know if I'd call it unisex, but the way the white florals come across for some people they think it's a little bit feminine, but I don't really get that, but just be aware of that. Some people, they think it's a little feminine with these floral notes. The next one is going to be CK All. So it's similar with the white florals, but this one takes a much more citrus heavy approach. The performance is only a couple hours here, but this 100 ml was only 20 bucks. And it is one that you could have your girl using too, because it is, I would say, this one more unisex than the L1212 Blanc. That one is more masculine, in my opinion. So, you know, if you're looking for a him and her style fragrance, that it's a nice, summery, freshy, zingy citrus that is really refreshing, is going to be easy to pull off pretty much in every single situation, is never going to be cloying, and everyone's going to love. CK All is a great, great choice. It smells kind of like the CK1 Summer Flankers, but it's got a little bit more character, a little bit more nuance to it. So I actually prefer it over a lot of the summer flankers from the CK All line. Or sorry, the CK1 summer flankers. The next one here, I'm doing all the white bottles in a row for some reason. Jimmy Choo Man Ice has some similarities to Dior Homme Cologne and also uh, Mercedes-Benz Cologne. So if you know either of those two, you're going to get an idea of what this smells like. Very airy, very uplifting, uh, very light kind of smelling, smells like lemonade. If you want some lemonade type of a scent on a hot summer day, something that's gonna cool you, refresh you, get you back into work mode, get you back in the groove of things when you're way too hot, you need something to cool off with, something with a lemonade type of a smell. Check out Jimmy Choo Man Ice. The atomizer on all of these is really good. Let's give it a spray. Boom. Love it. It's a great atomizer with these Jimmy Choo's. So be on the lookout for that one. Next one up is going to be Mont Blanc. This is called Starwalker. Mont Blanc Starwalker. So I get some similarities to Versace Mano Fresh. So if you're familiar with that one, you're going to get some similarities here. However, what makes this different is it has a bamboo note as one of the wood accords. So the bamboo note is going to make it smell like a spa. It's going to be very refreshing. It's, uh, you know, obviously going to be great for high heat situations. This one doesn't last super long. I think they originally made this one to be worn before bed. So they took extra care, you know, the name Starwalker. So they took extra care not to make it cloying or overly sweet or overly aggressive on the nose. Just something that could be really pulled off in any situation. So check out Starwalker if you want something with a bamboo note. If you want something that may make you feel like you're in a spa or in a relaxed state of mind, that's going to be a great one. And it works really well in the high heat. Sadly, performance isn't great on it, but you can go crazy on the sprays and it doesn't cost you too much. And, you know, we don't always need really great performance. Sometimes it's, it's more just good for an hour or two or whatever. Okay, next one from the House of Banana Republic. This is Metal Rain. So this is one of my favorites from Banana Republic. This whole icon line, I'm going to tell you, is just so many bangers in it. I just got a new one, uh, Tobacco and Tonka Bean, and that one is freaking amazing, guys. It is not a summer fragrance. so. Trolls, I know the trolls want me to include it so they can come on here and be like, oh, that's not a summer fragrance. You don't know what you're talking about. Don't worry, trolls, it's not in here. Go ahead and seal up that bottle of Haterade that you brewed this morning and get the hell out of this fraternity. Metal Rain is what we're talking about. 
It smells like Millicene Imperial mixed with, uh, sorry, it mainly smells like Silver Mountain water. That's what it mainly smells like with a little bit of Millicene Imperial mixed in there. So if you also a little bit of a Himalaya, so just kind of an amalgamation of a lot of the popular Creed fragrances, but for a lot less money. Quality with all of these Icon line fragrances is amazing. I really love this one. This one, I think of all of them, maybe pure white as well is going to work the best or the really most summery fragrances from the line. So if you're looking for Silver Mountain Water slash Himalaya slash a little bit of Millicene Imperial on the cheap, Metal Rain is a really good one to go with. Grassland would be another good option, but smells completely different. Has some similarities to Green Irish Tweed. It's a minty, fresh, grassy, green type of a fragrance approach. Unfortunately, the performance isn't great with this one. I get a little bit better performance out of the Metal Rain and Projection as well, but if you're going to be in an indoor type of a situation in an office or school setting, this is going to be great. And it's very appealing. It's very fresh. It has a sort of, I, I already said it, but it's, it's minty and grassy together with some similarities to Green Irish Tweed for a lot less money. So I'm going to try not to repeat myself all the time. The next one is Lucky You by the Lucky Brand. And this cap right here. I haven't tried it, but it's rubber. You could probably use it as an eraser. So you're getting an eraser and a fragrance for 25 bucks, and it's a damn good one. There is straight up grass in this. One of the notes is straight up grass. So, you know, fresh cut grass smell, manly, a little bit soapy too, super clean. This one, it's kind of a lost love. I don't really hear many people mentioning anymore. It's kind of been forgotten about. So, Let's make sure we uh, don't sleep on Lucky You. I think everyone should have at least one green grassy type of a fresh fragrance. And this is going to be one that if you're just going to get one, this is a great one to go with. And also, what else is cool about it? Is look on the side. See that? America. Actually, it says Americas, but I'm covering that up. But, you know, it's got America right on the bottle. Patriotism. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go. Smelling freaking amazing out here in the USA. Gonna be smelling like a green, grassy, sexy, suave man for the 4th of July. With lucky you. All right, here we go. Let's bring in Knights of Shining Armor with Latafa Mahir Legacy, a clone of Parfum Zamardly Sedley for a lot less money, but smells pretty damn close. I'd say damn near 85% of the way there. Definitely does not smell like a cheap fragrance at all, guys. And it's got a really nice lime note in the opening that really captures your attention. It really has some nice zinginess with the lime there in the beginning. That does settle down a little bit more. And then you get more of the aromatics. You get more of the lavender. You get more of the, I guess, modern take on a barbershop style fragrance. But basically, you get Sedley for a lot less money. Cool bottle. Like the reflective nature of this one. It's one that I'm reaching for a lot and one I'm really excited to keep on wearing this summer. You get really good performance with this one. It lasts all day. You're going to be smelling fantastic all day with Mahir Legacy. That's a newer release, so worth checking out. All right, next one we have shout out TLTG. I spent a lot of time watching his channel and I only know about this because of him. Aqua Senziale Blue. He's turned me and I'm sure countless other people onto this fragrance. Another Alberto Marias masterpiece. A beautiful blue fragrance for an affordable price with good performance. Also great for a professional. It smells put together. It doesn't smell too youthful. Really versatile in the age range that could pull this off. Not overly mature, not overly youthful. Just really great all around versatility with Aqua Senziale Blue. Beautiful bottle. Cap clicks into place really nicely as well. Uh, you know how I feel about these blue gradient style bottles. Yeah, can't wait to keep wearing this one in the summer. Price, not exactly sure. I think $35, $40 for the 100 ml. So it's a steal. It really is a steal and a hidden gem. I think really only people in the fragrance community even know about that one. So yeah, thank you, TLTG. You're the man. Next one, Coach Blue. Coach Blue. Um, if you want to smell just fresh, easy going, you don't want something overly complex. You just want a dumb reach and a dumb reach that's going to work really well in the heat. 
Coach Blue is the way to go for you. It smells, it's got that like la uh, fabric softener dryer sheet type of thing going on too. I think there's juniper berries in here. Not sure. I get some similarities actually to Rojas Loam with this one, but I prefer this one over Loam. It's not as, it's not as mature, I guess. It's not as, yeah, it's a little bit more youthful than, than Rojas Loam. So I really like Coach Blue. And, you know, it's not going to be the most unique thing in the world, but it, it's a great fragrance. At the end of the day, it's a great fresh fragrance that works in the high heat that is pretty good quality for what you're paying. And, yeah. You don't always have to be comparing it to something else. You can just take it for what it is on its own, and it's good. It's good. And so is this next one, Coach for Men, the original. This one has a little bit more fruity, a little bit more character, a little bit more nuance going on than the Coach Blue. So if you want something just straight up, fresh, easygoing, dumb reach, go Coach Blue. Or if you want something with a little bit more fruit, a little bit more character, Obviously not overly, you know, it's not like some crazy niche smell or something, you know, but it's good. Coach for men. It's got pear. It's got a little kumquat in there and broxen. Um, this is Coach's original answer to, you know, Dior Sauvage, Bleu de Chanel, yada, yada, all those. And it's great. It's one I find myself reaching back for all the time. Really love the way this one smells. I got another bottle in my car and I love to... Uh, hit myself with a couple sprays right before I leave the car and just I, I always know I'm smelling great when I'm wearing coach for men so depending on which one you might find out there in the wild coach blue or coach for men they're both excellent either one of them I think you're gonna be happy with the next one is one that really is like forgotten I rarely hear anybody talk about this one and I think it just gets overshadowed by some of the other flankers that are in the line because this whole line is really built for summer I'm talking about Azaro Chrome, and this is Chrome Legend, and the I believe the newer bottle style. Chrome Legend doesn't really get much love because it's overshadowed by its big brothers, Chrome Aqua, Chrome Extreme, Chrome Eau de Parfum, even Chrome Intense. And those are all excellent flankers, but without comparing it to those other ones, if you were just to smell this on its own, I really like this one, and it's decently unique. It's a tea-based fragrance, and you should dabble into tea-based fragrances you might find that you really really like them bulgari pour homme which is a tea-based fragrance is one fragrance that really got me back into this journey of fragrances and really into the passion of this art form so be aware don't sleep on these tea-based fragrances they might just surprise you it's got a little bit of orange uh, bitter orange in there as well some nice musk vetiver some woodsy note you get that metallic edge from the original chrome but to me, it smells like there's some florals in here, even though there aren't, but I just get like, for some reason, this floral smell. I even get it from the original Chrome too, but it's, it's the tea that is giving that off. So really wearable, really works in a lot of situations. And there's another tea fragrance, Chrome United in this line, but this one is more for daytime use. That one I would say is more for nighttime use. So you're gonna get more versatility with Legend and Chrome the two tea-based fragrances in the Azaro Chrome line. Just a couple more. Uh, another one that I heard of from TLTG, you guys, you know, I watch a lot of his stuff. What can I say? He's influenced me and I guess mentored me without him even knowing who I am. Vince Camuto, Ohm. I just, you know, it's, it's good to find somebody that you match up with kind of their scent and the stuff that they like. And if you can find someone online that matches with what you like, you're going to have a better time when you're blind buying stuff, if you like to blind buy stuff a lot. And in this cheaper category, you know, I just say F it, you know, blind buy it, screw it. But I like a lot of the stuff he likes. I think our noses are somewhat similar. So I, I trust him. Teal, uh, Vince Camuto Ohm, gin and tonic, really fresh, a little bit of a juniper berry here. When I smell this one, I think of like a salesperson, a man in a suit and tie, someone that could wear this to work, a professional. It smells put together. It doesn't smell overly youthful, but not like too mature either. Right there in the middle, not an old man scent. Really versatile, really great for a gentleman that wants to be fresh and feel like he's got his life together with Vince Camuto Ohm. Not overly boozy, but it has a fizziness, kind of like a fizziness from the tonic. A little bit of spices in here, but overall the freshness is what is predominant. And it's going to work really well in the heat of the summer. 
And if you want to smell elegance put together, like a salesman who knows what he's talking about or a business professional that you can trust, that's what I really get with Vince Camuto Ohm. Another one that's really been slept on and hardly anybody talks about it anymore, but one that is excellent for the summer. So I think it's my favorite, Vince Camuto, at least of the ones that I've tried. Last two here are going to be the most tropical of the bunch. So get your Hawaiian shirt ready because we're set and sail to St. Bart's with this first one from Tommy Bahama. It smells like a margarita. It's lime, tropical, a little bit salty, beautiful. Takes you right by the pool, swim up bar in Cancun. Takes you right to the resort, lounging at the beach. If you want to, you know, get that tropical vibe on, get that all-inclusive resort lifestyle on, you know, you folks know what I'm talking about. You guys know what it's like to be served a little, little margarita poolside, playing a little volleyball in the afternoon maybe, do a couple activities, get your grub on. Tommy Bahama, St. Bart's. Beautiful tropical margarita lime saltiness. Awesome. Last one. Here we go. Also from Tommy Bahama. You know, and I haven't talked about this one because I feel like St. Bart's kind of overshadows St. Kitts a little bit. But you know what? St. Kitts is really good and it's grown on me. At first, I kind of wrote it off because it wasn't that strong of a fragrance. And when you have other fragrances, you know, and I tend to usually like stuff that's a little bit more in your face, and this one is not that, but it smells great. And I timed it on my skin. I got exactly three hours of performance, exactly three hours. With the St. Bart's, you're going to get probably closer to five, at least that's what I get. With this one, exactly three hours. At the three hour mark, it was gone. But hey, it's like 20 bucks for this 100 ml, and it smells fantastic. Fruity and a little bit. Uh, how else would I describe this one? Fruity and tropical, not so much of the salty lime margarita taste of or smell of the St. Bart's, more of a fruity, uh, maybe like a peach or an apple type of a freshness and does that tropical scent DNA in a different way. And lately, I've been leaning towards this one more and more. So if you happen to come across this one, I think it's worth picking up. But just be aware, it's in all the cologne, it's going to last like three hours, at least on my skin. I don't know. Some people have this crazy skin, I guess, where it just lasts 10 plus hours. So if you're one of those people, let me know what the hell is your skincare routine? Because, you know, I need to get on that eternal life of projection game that you're on. What is your secret, man? Tell me. All right. That's it for today. Hopefully you got something out of this video. Hopefully you learned about some new fragrances or you just enjoyed hanging out with me. I know I enjoy hanging out with you guys. Take care. I'll see you on the next one with this premier pristine sound quality that we are now enjoying. Ah, isn't it wonderful? Have a great day, everybody. See you on the next one.